UMass students have only been back one week, and some are already getting into trouble. 22 News reporter Shani Whitlow is live at our Hampshire County Bureau to report on some hearty partying going on at UMass. That's right, Amherst police said they had to shut down several large parties throughout town. One of those parties took place on South Whitney Street, where 22 News noticed empty beer bottles laying in the yard days later. UMass students kept Amherst police busy this past weekend. I'd say, you know, do what you gotta do. You know, let loose. Amherst police received 219 complaint calls about off-campus parties. Pretty packed out, definitely. One of those packed parties took place here at 11 South Whitney Street, just blocks from the police station. A neighbor that lives next door told 22 News there were between 150 to 300 people pouring out of this house at any given time Saturday night. When the police came, people came outside, and when they came out, it looked like there was like so many people on the street, like obviously they couldn't fit in that house. There was just too many. We did have in the center sector, um, South Whitney and Pelham Road were also busy as well. So it was really all over town that, uh, that our officers were out being proactive and being very busy. What, what is expected in this first weekend of the school year? Neighbors called the police to complain about the noise at a tailgate party on Pelham Road. Do some stupid stuff, whatnot. Police arrested 33 people last weekend. Eight were from the party on South Whitney Street. Charges include violating the town's noise bylaws and liquor law violations. I think they still got some time to let loose, you know. Buckland time doesn't come for a while, I feel, you know, later in the semester. Amherst police said this is normal for this time of year, and officers are trained to deal with students who party too much. Reporting live from our Hampshire County Bureau in Northampton, Tashani Whitlow, 22 News.